Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will talk about how to use uh, JC Feather plugin to create and uh, render a single feather. Now, after loading the JC Feather plugin successfully, you will get a new menu called JC Feather. There are some there are some tools to help you um, make feathers, but before start work before we start work i'd like to create a gc feather created shelf create a gc feather shelf click this menu we will get a new shelf tab called gc feather there are also some tools to help you guys make feathers okay let's start um, you can use gc feather to create feathers based on nerve surface or poly mesh now I will show you how to use uh, nerve surface. Now create a nerve plane. Select your nerve plane and click this menu create uh, surface JC feather. Okay. We get a new simple JC feather. Now I'd like to open this JC feather library. Click one of those buttons. Maybe this one. Now I will get a new good looking feather and uh, I will change the nerve surface control vertices to um, change the feather shape maybe like this and also you can translate the nerve surface, rotate the nerve surface or scale the nerve surface Okay, now I will use poly mesh to create a JC feather. Now create a poly plane. Change the subdivision values parameter three, the height two. Now select the mesh vertices one by one, just like this. Now create vertices GC feather. Okay, a new GC feather node. Select the new GC feather and uh, click one of those buttons, maybe this one. You can also translate, rotate, or scale. Now I want to change the vertices. This. Okay, and you can also change the GC feather display quality. This will show show us more feather bubbles, just like this. Now, if you want to, if you want to render GC feather, you need three D light. Before we render GC feather. We need a 3D light render pass for type. Just create a new render pass. Now select uh, this render pass and click this button, Feather Render Tools. Now, now click this Init for 3D light. This button will help us to. Um, initialize some settings for a later feather rendering okay now i w i can render all feathers click the re full render pass okay the image shows but the nervous surface and the poly mesh are also rendered out Let's um, turn off the render states, just like this. But you guys um, can also hide the nerve surface and the mesh mesh object. Okay, let's uh, render the full render pass. Okay, now we got. Now we get a good image. And now, if you guys want to 
uh, render the feather with the shadow. I will show you how to do this. Now we need a spotlight and uh, move the spotlight like this, maybe. Now I will create a new nerves um, plane and uh, make it uh, j just as the ground. Now rotate rotate this one. Now select the spotlight, turn on the use depth map shadows. Now let's render the full render pass. Oh, okay. Now we just use uh, the depth map in 3D light. If you want, if you want to use uh, deep shadow, okay. Let's um, move this. If you want to use uh, deep shadow in 3D light, <coughs> we need uh, select the spotlight and uh, click the examine panel create a geometry attributes for the light and choose a light attribute node in the attribute editor click add remove attributes shadow maps now shadow maps generate shadow maps use deep shadow map now let's render the image again Okay, now we get a new image. This in this image we use uh, we use the deep shadow map, but uh, maybe I need uh, to change the spotlight uh, the best parameters, maybe four. Let's render again. Now a good image. So far so good. And uh, select the spotlight. You can also change the resolution. Turn 24. Turn 24. Render. Okay, this is um, this is a good image. So far, so good. Okay, see you next lesson.